Hello, my name is Nicole Arroyo, and this is my portfolio project submission. For my Graduate with Honors project, I've chosen to do a React web application for an organization that's quite important to me. My father is a retired Chicago police officer, and he's a member of the Puerto Rican Police Association. Now, their mission is to bring together law enforcement officers of Hispanic slash Latino descent in a united effort to protect the community, as well as to give back to it in a way that's meaningful and fulfilling to its members. For the homepage, I created two carousel components using React Strap. And at the bottom, I have a newsletter sign-up form using a controlled form with validation that I made using Formic. And that's to take care of the form states. Now on to the navigation components. I've added a responsive header and footer. And in the header, I've featured a navbar component using React Strap and Font Awesome icons. I also set up the routing using React Router. And in the footer, I have all the links to the home, about, event, board members, partnership, news, contact, all the various pages, as well as some contact information, Facebook and Twitter. All of the pages feature breadcrumbs for better navigation. On the About Us page, I have a few card components displaying text. And at the bottom, I have a component that uses the map method to go through an array in order to display a list of the community partnerships. I also use this method on a few other pages to display their data and images. In the event directory, um, I do want to add more photos and various events. As I said, I couldn't get those because of the holidays. But on these, I also used the map function. For the board members page, in addition to the map function, I used a third-party library of React Spring to get some basic animation to use on the board members. I did this using the use spring hook along with React's use state and use effect hooks. Did a similar thing on the partnerships. For the news page, I just embedded one of their tweets in there, but I'd like to figure out how to make that look better, more dynamic. For the contact page, I displayed all their contact information, and I also used a controlled form using Formic, so that can keep track of the form state. I also did a form validation with Formic as well. For all of these components, I created an external CSS file, and I also have some inline styling that use the class name and ID prop when they've been needed. So one of the biggest challenges for me was basically understanding the documentation. I keep trying to read more and understand it. I've looked for different documentation and explanations so that I can compare and see like how it was written. I've watched more videos, and I am starting to understand it a lot more, thankfully. Uh, it's going to be something that I have to continue to practice at a lot. So I look forward to doing that. <laughs> Another huge challenge for me was the CSS and formatting the components on the page while making them responsive. I definitely need to go over Flexbox a lot more. This really took me a lot longer than it should have, and it's kind of embarrassing, but I put a lot of time and effort into kind of making sure that everything is displayed properly. And it's gonna have to be something that I continue to work on. Thank you so much for viewing my project. My future project will be a React Native app for my aunt's pizza restaurant. Thank you and have a great day.